Eddie Woodhead is in for the first time. He came in motion. And Flacco from the gun throws to the scene. And he's got Macklin at the 40-yard line of Cleveland. There is a flag, however, that sits at the 39-yard line of the Ravens. We're dictating. They're down at nine. Out of the gun is Flacco looking at the end zone. It's tipped and it's nearly intercepted. Christian Kirksey tipped it to Tucker. Sam Cook is his holder. It's a high snap handled well. And the kick is good. Counts at 11. A third down. That was Gordon in motion. Kaiser looks that way. And Gordon can't hang on. It may have been tipped at the line of scrimmage. And, and plus, he wants the job. I mean, he wants to work that way. Trying to set up the screen. Boy, that's a tough spot to set up the screen. Yeah, it was read very, very well. They're down at eight. Pressure's coming from Suggs. Kaiser breaks away, and it's intercepted at the 42-yard line. Eric Weddle is still on his feet and inside the 20. And that is the 18th interception this year for Kaiser. You're going to see right here, it's just going to be running a, a, a post pattern, but you see the safety right over the top right here. Weddle, he's just waiting for that throw, and, and Kaiser had nowhere to put that ball. Josh Gordon was not open. He was locked in. You can see him looking. A little bit of pressure from Suggs. Threw his timing off, no doubt about it, but you, that ball should not have been thrown, period. Williams is in motion. And a handoff to Collins. Collins is bounced out. He did not get in. High formation Ricard is the fullback. Here comes Collins. Collins is not going to get it. James Burgess was there to hit him back. And the Browns will take over on downs. On fourth and goal from inside the one. Crowell on first down. Crowell has some daylight. Gets away from Reno. Can he outrun the Ravens defense? He has three men chasing him down, and he's taken down by Brandon Carr close to the 35-yard line. Well, that's one of the problems I have with the call, Steve Tasker. Fourth down call. The fourth down call, yeah, because you say, oh, they're playing against the Cleveland Browns. You got them backed up inside. Well, guess what? One play changes that. Now the Cleveland Browns have all the momentum. Easy to go back in with hindsight. After we went into break, here's Duke Johnson who bounces to the outside. He's got a free run into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. Of the AFC Championship. Black over the near side for Wallace, and Wallace is able to hang on on the sidelines. It is a good catch to the 45-yard line. Jason McCourty was in on the coverage, going from inside the three. Pressure's coming. Flacco's going to keep it himself into the end zone, untouched. And the Ravens retake the lead. Two receivers off to the far side. Duke Johnson in the backfield. Kaiser's being chased down by Suggs. And Suggs is able to slow him down for Judad, who picks up his seventh sack of the year. Near side. Cleveland has not converted to third down yet. Kaiser steps up to the pocket. Kaiser's hit by Suggs, dumps it off to Johnson. And Johnson trying to move his way. Fumbles the ball! And it's picked up by Anthony Levine of the Baltimore Ravens. I think it was C.J. Mosley that jarred that ball loose, and Levine was able to recover it. Wallace is number one receiver. Still plenty of time for the Ravens. Flacco locks it to Watson, who's wide open. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. Benjamin Watson held in check last week against the Steelers. A couple occasions in the first half, but this is one where they just couldn't. Flacco does a nice job backpedaling, takes the hit, and just lofts this ball out there. You said it is a, it's a great throw under pressure just to touch that ball out there in front of Watson. Is there anything to the fact that it's the 10th touchdown allowed by the Browns to a tight end this year? I mean, Blitz on first down. Kaiser four for his last four. Pumps and throws as he's being taken down. It's complete to the valve. And he's inside the 40-yard line. That's a huge completion. Is there. That's him at the bottom. On third down. They throw to that side, and the pass is complete to that side. Corey Coleman. Yeah, quick timeout by Cleveland here. That's a first down.
This is the tougher end of the stadium to kick. It's a good snap, a good hole, kick is on its way, and it is good. Stopped by Cleveland. Chris Moore is in motion. Flacco off the play fake, sets up and fires as Watson again. And Watson is tripped up by Jabril Peppers, but he is inside Cleveland territory. Bunch formation on the left side for Flacco. Flacco times winding down, and he's taken down. Trevon Coley with his second sack of the year. Those are from his end zone on first down from the four. Here comes the pressure. He doesn't see it. He loses the football. It's picked up right on the goal line by Brandon Williams. It'll be a touchdown, Baltimore. Kaiser had no idea that the pressure was coming from the backside, and Brandon Williams fell right on top of it. Right here, Spencer Durango. Williams just comes off. Was that? It actually wasn't Williams. It was Zadarius Smith Zedaria who knocked Smith it loose, and the edge. Williams right. recovered okay, it in the end zone. Yeah. So it just gives him the move, and Durango gets caught lunging. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty poor by Durango. We were worried about the matchup with him on Suggs coming into the game today, but it was not Suggs that caused the problems. Darius Smith right there, huge play. Said I formation. That's Max Williams, the tight end in motion. Off the play fake. Flacco, middle of the field. Mike Wallace is wide open, close to the 40-yard line in front of Mike Jordan. Is one field goal this afternoon. Cook is the holder. Morgan Cox, the longtime long snapper. And everything worked perfectly for Tucker and the Ravens as they take a 27-10 lead with four seconds to play. He not ever figured out, never had a chance to really grow and develop as a quarterback. Here's Gordon, nice catch, pass behind him. He's up across the 45. And he's up to the 48-yard line. It is a deep draft. I don't know if it's that deep. They're down at five. Kaiser to the middle, and pass is complete. What a catch by Duke Johnson. And they're going to get a roughing the passer penalty against the Ravens as well. Completely, it's hard to adjust to that. The valve is in motion on third down and five. Kaiser pumps to the right, rolls to the left. Throws to the back of the end zone, intercepted. Brandon Carr in the back of the end zone, and that was a poor decision by Deshaun Kaiser. You know, listen, th listen, we saw earlier, Santa Claus is sitting right back here. Throw it to him. Throw it to him. Field goal, you're now a touchdown, a two-point conversion, and a field goal away from tying the ball game instead of two touchdowns. Well, Javoris Allen gets the first down as he uh, sprints forward to the 34-yard line. Jabril Pe Peppers makes the tackle on San Francisco. Allen gets up close to midfield before Mike Jordan. They have and get in. There's a little edge to them as Allen running hard. Yeah, they're steel. You know, they're they're hard. Uh, they don't have a let up. He yeah. wants Jackson because of the success he had there as offensive coordinator. Flacco takes a knee.